everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do the advanced selection and create a halftone effect in GIMP. Let's begin. Okay, first, let's open the image in File, Open, and adjust this. Let's hit Convert. And now I'm going to select this cat with the advanced selection. You can see my previous video how to do the advanced selection in GIMP. Let's duplicate this layer by clicking this icon and make it black and white by going to color the set rate and click the set rate again just hit ok after that adjust level in colors curves just turn it down just focus on the cat make it darker because we're going to invert it later so in masking the black color for hiding and white for reveal just focus on this cat and click ok now we're going to invert the color, we're going to color, choose invert. And now we're going to create a selection with the Bezier tool, press B. And I start from here. So just follow the cat shape. In here you can drag and press shift twice to lock the corner. We're dragging, okay, like this. And release. Just continue. And we're going to deal with this for later. So just create a hard selection with the visual tool. When almost finished, hold control till you see this chain icon, then click and press enter. And fill it with white color and edit. Just fill with background color because our background color in white color. And deselect it in select, choose not. And click this move tool to remove this bezier node. Next, add layer mask on the original layer. Right click, add layer mask, choose this white full opacity, then hit it. And on this layer, press Ctrl C to copy, then Ctrl V in here, not in here. So make sure you select the mask layer, press Ctrl V, and click this enter icon. Okay, let's see, you can turn off this visibility. The selection is still not smooth, so I'm going to fix that later with the full brushes. Delete this part with Bezier tool, press B. Make a selection. Ctrl, then click, press enter. And with pen brush tool, click this icon or the shortcut is P. Make sure you click on this mask layer and just brush it. Increase the size. And deselect it in select just none or the shortcut is Shift Ctrl A. Next, create a black background. So create new layer and name it. Move it to the bottom, bucket fill tool, and click on the canvas. So I want to fix this edge with the full brush. Leave the pen brush tool and change the brush to this fur. You can download this brush in link in description and how to install it. It's really easy. So I'm going to increase the size. Make sure you click on this mesh layer and just click it. Of course, you can also rotate the angle. Different result. And maybe change the brush. Rotate the angle. And you can make it visible by swapping the color to the white color. Try to brush again. So this is how you do the advanced selection and get, especially for the fur. Don't forget to apply the layer mask, so right click, just apply the layer mask. And bring the cut image in new canvas by going to File, New, 
and I set to this size. This is Instagram portrait photo size. Yes, hit OK. And let's change the color to this white. And just drag it and place it on here. Press Shift S to scale and hold Ctrl to create a proportional scale. Run this and press Enter. And now for the halftone effect, in filters, distort just the new screen. You can see here the pattern, the circle, diamond, and the P square and the crossing line. Just choose it. So I choose the circle, and you can increase the period. Above 10, it's okay, it's good. Not too small, but I set around 17. You can rotate the angle. So just prefer here. But you notice that this is the previous one that we delete is appear again. Okay, let's fix that by going to blending option. Change the mode to luminance. So you can try the settings like the overlays and many more. So I just prefer to choose the luminance for this image and hit OK. And create a rectangle. So click this icon or the shortcut is R. And start from here and to here. Create new layer and I made rectangle. Fill it with the this purple pink color. You can see this color code and click OK. And go to edit, just fill it foreground color. And change layer mode to Lighten only. Still in the selection, I'm going to create a frame. So create new layer, animate frame, and go to edit, stroke selection. Just make it by around seven, and hit stroke. Deselect it and select choose none. And the last thing, the text element. So press T and type. Select all the text. And change the font to lemon and place it on the top. Change the color to white and increase the size. And some text not readable, so just select this text and change the color to same color as the cat and hit OK. And add more text. Change the font to reduce the size, and I'm going to duplicate this text. Hold Control to bring symmetrically to the left. Change the text to and move down a little bit, and create an ellipse. Or the shortcut is E, and select this year. Create new layer, animate ellipse. Go to edit and choose stroke selection and make the stroke by 5 and hit the stroke. Deselect it and select none. And I'm going to rotate the ellipse, so press Shift R. You can rotate it from here and press Enter with move tool and place it on here. And the last some um, rectangle line, so create new layer and I mean rectangle line. Change to rectangle select and go to edit, just fill it foreground color. Deselect it with Shift Ctrl A. And I'm gonna change the background. This to white. Around here. And with the bucket fill tool, just click on the canvas. I hope you learned something new how to do the advanced selection and create an off-tone effect in game. 
I'm Zeki from Zeki Design. Create something good today. Thanks for watching. Thank <music> you.